We welcome in our baseball analyst, Anthony Recker, now. And before we talk about the game, Taiwan Walker has been named an all-star, as you know. So what's your reaction to that news? Uh, just so thrilled for Taiwan Walker. Uh, you know, getting to spend a little bit of time with him like I did in 2018 uh, in the Arizona organization. Got to know him a little bit. Just a fantastic individual. Um, obviously, what he's been able to do for this team, he has been great for this team. He's gone out there, you know, almost every single fifth day, uh, giving them great, great innings. Uh, he's been more, I think, than they could have ever hoped for when they signed him so late on, uh, you know, in the offseason, actually during spring training. And, and really, he's done a fantastic job of just solidifying, you know, the middle of this rotation. Deservedly so, gets the all-star nod. Extremely happy for him. Absolutely. As for Friday night, how nice was it for the Mets to get a win? They didn't have to sweat too much with the offense just running away with it. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice to see the offensive explosion. Uh, obviously, this team has had some problems offensively so far this year. But for them to really take hold of the game the way they did in the sixth inning and to go on a you know, big run, 10 runs in an inning, it's not easy to do uh, in Major League Baseball. And for them to string together the at-bats that they did, the hits that they did, you know, obviously Nimmo led it off and he really set the table for the rest of the team. Pete with a big home run, Lindor, as you said, with a big home run. Uh, you know, just to really let the floodgates open, I'm sure it felt very good for this team offensively and hopefully they can carry it over into the weekend. Well, we just heard from Francisco Lindor saying he doesn't like being booed. A grand slam can certainly help change that. What are you expecting from him in the second half? Well, you know, look, specifically with that home run, the way he let that ball travel, went the other way with it. Uh, you know, we heard Luis Rojas talking about how he's a strong individual, and now he knows he can go the other way with authority, get it out of the ballpark. You'd think a guy like that would already know that, but sometimes as hitters, we can get we can get lost in you know in our statistics, in the fact that we're not having you know the year that we expect ourselves to have, let alone what everybody else expects. And you know, to hear him talk about the booze and to hear him talk about the fact that. He's hoping to celebrate, you know, this home run specifically. It seems to me like this could be a nice springboard for him into the second half. And, you know, honestly, he's had a great uh, month or so, a little bit more since June uh, started. He's been swinging the bat a lot better. Hopefully he can continue that on into the second half and just continue to or start really producing at the level that we have seen and are accustomed to earlier in his career.